Top 8 Most Mysterious Things Found at the Bottom of the Ocean The world ocean is the least studied place on our planet. Scientists are constantly discovering new species of living beings, finding unusual objects and exploring hitherto unseen phenomena. The world ocean occupies about three-fourths of the Earth's surface and is important even for those areas of land that are thousands of kilometers away from the sea coasts. The world ocean is divided into oceans. The natural boundaries of the oceans are continents. The share of the world ocean in the hydrosphere of our planet is 94%. It covers 70.8% of the entire Earth's surface, approximately 361 million km2. The average depth is 3.7 km, the maximum depth is 11 km. The volume of water contained in the world's oceans is approximately 1.3 billion km3. City of Heraklion It is also known as Tones, was once one of the most important cities in Egypt. Located near modern Alexandria, it was a strategically important point of ancient Egypt, and therefore, it was even called the entrance gate to the country. In the first centuries of its existence, Heraklion flourished, but later found itself underwater in the Bay of Abaukar, two kilometers from the coast of Egyptian Alexandria. It happened as a result of a series of several natural disasters. Earthquakes, tides and floods. For more than a dozen centuries, Heraklion rested at the bottom of the sea, until in 2000, it was discovered by a team of researchers led by French archaeologist Frank Gaudio. I must say that this find has become exceptional and very important for modern historical science, since previously the name of the city was mentioned only in classical writings and ancient writings. God Dio's team managed to discover not only the ruins of the city, but also many interesting artifacts. At a depth of 45 meters underwater, they found gold coins, 5 meter statues, as well as the remains of more than 64 ships. Interestingly, the city has been at the bottom of the sea for many centuries, but despite this, it has remained untouched and well-preserved. Christ from the Abyss Here is another interesting find discovered under the seawater, a statue of Jesus Christ called Christ from the Abyss, this statue is located at the bottom of the sea, in the Bay of San Fruccioso. The statue, whose height is about two and a half meters, was installed at a depth of 17 meters in 1954. The idea of creating such a statue is attributed to a diver named Dulio Marcante, who through this unusual and beautiful statue, wanted to honor the memory of diver Dario Gonzati, as a result, the statue of Christ was erected by sculptor Guido Galetti. The face of Jesus Christ is turned up to the surface of the sea and the sky, and his raised hands are also directed to the surface. Despite the fact that the statue Christ from the Abyss is considered partially abandoned, it is very popular with tourists and divers, which is largely facilitated by the excellent transparency of the water in the Bay of San Fruccioso. Of course, this is a very unusual object that can only be found at the bottom of the sea, but it cannot be called the only one of its kind, since there are two copies of this statue in the world. One is located on the coast of Street. Georges Grenada, and the second is in the waters of Key Largo, Florida. Roman merchant ship with artifacts. At the beginning of the 20th century, a team of archaeologists discovered a sunken Roman ship near the island of Antikythera in the Aegean Sea. After examining the wreckage and finding artifacts, it was determined that the ship sank about 2,000 years ago. The vessel kept a huge treasure, a lot of art objects, bronze and marble statues, ceramic products, amphorae, and, most importantly, Antikythera mechanism. The artifact, which is a kind of the first semblance of a computer, scientists believe that with the help of this unusual mechanism, the ancient Greeks performed complex operations, counted the movement of celestial bodies, and compiled a calendar. In general, the Antikythera mechanism is one of the most interesting artifacts ever found underwater. And the treasure itself, found on a sunken Roman merchant ship, is one of the most valuable in history. A strange object in the Baltic Sea. In June 2011, the Swedish team Ocean X, engaged in diving to the bottom of the oceans, discovered a very strange object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. Initially, the researchers assumed that the object was a sunken ship or a natural formation, but everything turned out to be much more interesting and complicated. 
an object of unknown origin called anomaly in the Baltic Sea, was discovered at the bottom of the Baltic Sea, scientists have established that the anomaly appeared here about 14,000 years ago, the object has a round shape and seems to have been created by humans. In its shape, this object is very similar to the spaceship Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, on which Han Solo flew. It is also worth noting that a strip of 300 meters long stretches along the seabed from this unusual object. Scientists believe that the object may be an old temple, and the strip is nothing but a road leading to it. The theory is good, but it does not agree with the dating, because there were no temples 14,000 years ago. On the other hand, theorists believe that everything is simpler, the object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea is a UFO that crashed, and the strip that stretches behind it remained after it collided with the bottom. The Underwater City of Yanaguni For centuries, the mysterious city has been hidden underwater off the coast of Yanaguni Island in Japan. He was found at a depth of 27 meters. So, the complex has been preserved, which is a platform with steps turning into terraces covered with a bizarre ornament of triangles. It is believed that the structure was built 2,000 to 3,000 years ago. Emeralds In 2010, amateur diver and treasure hunter Jay Miskovich discovered an unusual find off the coast of Florida, more than 10,000 emeralds at a depth of 21 meters. The value of these emeralds is estimated at millions of dollars, you might think that Jay got rich on the fly, but it's not. The find has gone down in history not only as one of the most expensive, but also as one of the most scandalous of all time, and is connected with the legal battles that followed the discovery of the emeralds. After the court found out about Jay's find, he decided to grant the man only temporary possession of emeralds, for this reason, Jay could not sell a single carrot and never got rich. It's interesting, but no one knows exactly how these emeralds turned out to be at the bottom of Florida. The mystery and mystique of the emerald betrayed this fact that some time after their discovery, Jay voluntarily passed away. Some said he was up to his ears in debt, others claimed that his participation in the federal investigation was a turning point in his life. Underwater Sculpture Museum, Cancun, Mexico the Cancun Underwater Museum is one of the most amazing places created by man. The museum was officially opened in 2010. Officially called the Muse Museum and the original Musa, or Underwater Museum of Art. It is located on the border of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, near the island of Isla Mujeres, at a distance of just over a kilometer from its coast, at a depth of 4 to 8 meters. The Cancun Underwater Museum is a complex of sculptures located right on the seabed. The vast majority of them are life-size underwater sculptures of people. In addition, there are other exhibits, such as a car, a house, a table and even an underwater mine. The idea of creating an underwater museum belongs to a group of people who are not indifferent to nature and art. This project was founded by Dr. Jamie Gonzalez Cano, Roberto Diaz Abraham, and British artist and sculptor Jason Taylor. Jason became responsible for filling the underwater museum with sculptural compositions. Underwater River at the Bottom of the Black Sea British scientists have discovered an amazing underwater river at the bottom of the Black Sea. If this river were on land, it would be the sixth largest in the world. Its width is about 1 km, and the depth in some areas reaches 35 meters. There are even waterfalls, currents and whirlpools. Scientists have established that the underwater river was formed several centuries ago as a result of the penetration of saltier water from the Marmara into the Black Sea.